right guys my name is Mary I'm going to be doing the first half of April reading for you all April 1st to the 15th reading for Gemini how are you all today I am doing great I hope you are too this is for your Sun moon and rising signs not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the card, you all, before I start the video. It does take me just a minute. Please be patient with me. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, well, Mary, Sir Nonos, Two of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Clarifying, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Three of Action. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Wow, you all. <laughs> that kind of goes hand in hand with what I've been telling you in the past. Be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. Now, aren't they nice? Very nice. Not the right time. And wait. Well. Give me just a minute, okay? Sorry. All right, you guys. You know, bless your hearts. That's all I can say for you. Every time, it's like two steps forward and three steps back sometimes, and that's kind of how I'm feeling with you all. But I do feel like if you guys are going through a little bit of this challenges, of this, um, people keep throwing things at you, people keep stressing you out, people keep uh, blaming you or challenging you, 
some of you guys you know this could be a wounded warrior to where you've had an illness or a sickness or uh, you know you've been in the, at the doctor or in the hospital or something like that and every time you're, you're trying to get better and and your job may be calling you and saying where are you you got to come back to work and you're like well give me a second let me let me be able to get better before i can come back to work it's all it's almost like that you know sometimes when you feel like when you're down, one thing after another continues to happen. But here's the good news, okay? Because there is good news, and I don't want to go off on all of that stuff. There's something going on here. You're, you're going to need rest and recuperation, and it could be because of this Nine of Wands. But there's something else that's coming in for you guys with this Ace of Wands and with this Nine of Cups that it's going to end up in a beautiful, inspiring kind of situation. So even if you go through this nonsense for a day or a two or maybe a week, it's going to flip back around and you're going to feel a lot better about a lot of different things, okay? Here's the thing. You read these down here. You heard me read these. These are telling me that you guys are going to um, have some sort of recognition or some sort of um, acknowledgement that you're going to be extremely happy about. But before all of that can happen, it feels like that, well, you feel like you're being picked on. But what's new, right? So you guys are going to get through that and you're going to have some sort of a situation, some sort of a, which way do I go? You're at a crossroads. You don't know which path to take. You don't know which direction to go. And in, instead of making a choice or a decision, you just kind of sit there and say, okay, well, I guess I got to think about it for a second. But I believe you already know deep down which way you should go with this choice or this decision, okay? And it's not... Um, it's almost like you're afraid you're going to hurt somebody's feelings or you're afraid you're going to hurt... Um, your family maybe, or your friends, or even your co-workers, maybe it's your boss, you're almost like in a predicament to where there's a, a better decision for you, but in the meantime, you're afraid you're going to hurt someone else or a group of people. So maybe this is you guys wanting to move somewhere, for instance, okay? Maybe it's you wanting to take a new job and it's in a different city and you've got to leave your immediate family, uh, your parents, or, you know, and you're like, well, I really want this job, but I really don't want to leave my family, you know, that kind of thing. There's something about this Two of Swords that makes me feel like you guys are going to be stuck in a predicament. You're not sure which way to go. But in the end, you're going to know which way to go. I also have this wait. It's not the right time. So I want you guys to remember that too, okay? So if there is some sort of a, a challenge that comes into your life and you've got to pick one way or another, a choice that you're not real keen about making the choice, I'd like for you guys to maybe sit on it for a minute. It's not the right time maybe to make this choice or this decision right at this moment. I believe it's all going to work itself out. So if you do, let's say, okay, if you do get an offer as a, for a job in a different city and you want to move to a different city and then you're afraid that you're going to hurt your family or, or whoever, maybe it's your adult kids you don't want to move away from or your friends, your neighbors, whoever it is, and then all of a sudden you just sit on it for a minute. I have a feeling that there's going to be another job offer that comes into you that's going to give you the same, if not better, money, um, benefits, and it's going to be closer to your home. I hope that makes sense. Now, it's not necessarily going to be a job offer, so don't take that that it has to be a job offer. It could be something completely different. But there's going to be something that you're stuck in a predicament about. You're not sure which way to go. And before you make up your mind or your, um, your choice, something else is going to come in that's going to be even better. 
okay? That's how I'm feeling about it, and you are going to be ecstatic about this. So if you're looking for a new job, it might that might be what we're talking about, or even buying a new home, or um, moving to a different location, or it, there's going to be more options than that. Maybe it's new businesses, opportunities. Maybe it's um, moving into a partner's uh, home or something about these cards make me feel like don't make a choice right away. It's not the right time. And if you'll just give it a week or two, something better is going to come in for you. Okay? Because with this Ace of Wands, that's how it makes me feel. New chapters, new beginnings, new homes, um, birth of a new situation, the way they, and this in general is just a beautiful Ace. It just makes you feel like it's something that you're passionate about, something that uh, could be creativity. It could be a new home, or it could be a birth of a baby, it could be a new job, it could be a lot of different things, but it's something that you can grow on, something that you are excited about and that your your energy is pumping and you're just you're ready to go full force with it. And it's going to make you emotionally fulfilled, emotionally happy, and emotionally satisfied. Um, because that's what this Nine of Cups is. You guys are patting yourself on the back. You're actually happy with your life. You're happy with the way things are, are um, falling into place. So I feel like that even if you do go through this, you do need some extra rest and extra sleep and some extra uh, TLC. I mean, you just need to take care of yourself, especially if you've been ill under the weather or had some sort of issues or someone in your family. Because sometimes when it rains, it pours. And sometimes when you're down, people will try to kick you. And that's how you're feeling a little bit here. But that's not, excuse me, that's not going to last very long. I also feel like you might be reminiscing about the past. And for some of you guys, I feel like these could be passed on loved ones or people that from your past that you haven't seen in a very long time. Maybe your family, maybe your um, grandparents, maybe your parents, maybe your kids. Um, something about this for some of you they, they it could just be someone that you haven't seen or talked to in a while that you're thinking about but for some of you i feel like these are passed on loved ones that you really miss and that you would love to have some sort of a connection with um and it just makes you it makes you go to a certain time in your past but i do believe for some of you you may start having vivid dreams to where you can see passed on loved ones or even speak to them and that will make you feel a lot better. Um, but I believe by the end of this month of April you're going to know which direction to take. You're going to have more um, information, more choices, and more um, advice possibly that you haven't had yet. And this person right here could be the person that's helping you out the most. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. Could be a family member or a friend. So if you guys are finding yourself stuck in a little bit of a pickle, don't panic. <laughs> you guys don't panic anyway. But it, don't panic because it's all working out. And I do believe when I read these two beautiful cards down here that you guys are going to have options and opportunities and a success story um, by probably by the end of May. And you guys have already been through have, and have been going through a lot of nonsense anyway over the last six months. But these cards just want me to tell you that just hang in there for another second. And if you do feel like when it rains, it pours, that's going to be over soon. And if you do um, have a choice or an option that you just don't, you can't figure out which way to go or what to do, I think it's going to fall into place if you'll just allow the timing to be right. Okay? So don't do anything drastic. Don't make up any drastic uh, decisions right at this moment. Wait till the end of April, I'm going to say. I have the Cernonos here that makes me feel like that this could be um, something that you're... I have a feeling for a lot of you guys that you're not getting enough sleep. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. I almost feel like that you're, um, you're staying up too late. 
By the time you get in bed, you're only sleeping four, five, six hours maybe, and you know you need more sleep, but you keep doing it every night after night after night, and it's catching up with you. And I almost feel like that you guys are um, needing rest. I don't know why. I think in the month of April, you guys really need to uh, get more rest and more sleep and try to go to bed a little earlier. Maybe with this or no nos too, you might be um, on your phone, on Facebook, uh, texting, um, on the internet, and then the next thing you know, it's one o'clock in the morning, and you're like, "Oh crap, I got to get up at five. And then you're, you know, and it's just a day after day after day. Please get more sleep and rest. You'll feel a lot better if you do. You really will, and you could po possibly avoid um, the, a cold or a sickness if you do. So, if you guys find yourself in a little bit of a pickle, don't panic over it. You're going to get out of it like you always do, and you're going to feel better. You're going to do better. Just get more sleep, more rest, and by the end of April, you've got this Ace of Wands, this Nine of Cups, and something great is about to happen for you guys, okay? Be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. You know, I've been saying this over the last six months for you guys. Even though you guys struggle or get um, pushed, on, pushed around or picked on a little bit, you always come out a winner. And I have a feeling um, by the end of April you're going to get some sort of a, a, an award, a reward, um, some sort of recognition, some sort of acknowledgement, and it's really going to make you proud of yourself. Three of action. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. So that's another reason why I kind of feel like that this might be um, something that wants you to move away or to travel or maybe it's a job that you'd have to travel all the time. Maybe it's military or something to that extent um, and you're kind of in a pickle. I think it's going to work itself out, okay? Um, I'm not saying don't travel. I'm not saying, you know, but I'm also saying wait. It's not the right time for a drastic change in your life, okay? But I think it, you're going to know by the end of April. I really do. And you're going to be tickled with your choices. This is also a wish card. This is a wish coming true for you all. So I do believe that even though you feel like this every once in a while, it's all going to turn around. You're going to feel like this before you know it. All right, you all, this is a great reading. This is your first half of April reading, April 1st through the 15th reading for Gemini. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.